Well, Stead, in my reading, I found that there's two types of ship, major and minor ship. What's the difference? That's a very important question because uh, major ship, as the word major mentions, is different to minor ship. They're both major sins and they both ruin the act of worship or they both ruin ibadah, okay? But the difference between the two is major shirk is something which takes a person outside the fold of Islam to do that action, like praying to idols, okay? Worshipping statues. This is major shirk, it takes a person outside the fold of Islam. But then a minor shirk, although it's a major sin, it doesn't take the person outside the fold of Islam. An example of minor shirk is swearing or taking the oath by other than Allah. For example, saying, I swear by my mother, I swear by my baby sister. These type of things are considered minor shirk in the sense that in the text, the Quran and the Sunnah, it's mentioned as being shirk, but it's not something that takes a person outside the fold of Islam. It's still a major sin, and that's really important to highlight, and it still ruins the action of ibadah. There's no reward for the person that does that. There's a third category, which is often overlooked, but also significant. It's something called lesser shirk, right? And this is sometimes, or this is known as a riyaw, or showing off. So doing an act of worship, like prayer, or giving sadaqah, but doing it because you want to impress somebody, you're showing off, right? So obviously, if you're doing it for the person, it's not for Allah, if it's not for Allah, it's not going to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the difference. One is, takes you outside the fold of Islam, the other one doesn't take you outside the fold of Islam, but both of them are in their action, that they enter on major shirk, minor shirk, and then showing off which is lesser shirk. Okay. Barakallah fiqh ustad. Wa fiqh ustad. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullah.